I am back, folks. I was deeply affected by yesterday's events, if you couldn't tell, and I think it showed on this program. I wasn't happy. But today, I woke up and I gathered myself. And I have put the sadness, the fear, the anxiety behind me. Quite frankly, I have no time for those emotions. They don't help me move this nation forward. They don't help me inform the masses about not only the ills of Joe Biden's ways, but also the plan to push back against them. What I do have time for is boldness, strength, and most certainly perseverance, because I am here to tell you, as concerned as I am about this country, folks, we will persevere. So I ask you humbly to follow my lead here, toss aside the feelings of defeat, and start acting like determined patriots hell-bent on preserving freedom. So from this day forward, for the next four years, I promise to you this, I will be relentless. You should be too. And I'll never give up on the greatest nation in the world. And to all the daisies on the left who are triggered by my strong calls to action, let me make this very clear so the mainstream media doesn't get it wrong. None of my calls include violence, but it does include the truth. And it includes a directive for all of us to not allow the left to get away with their lies anymore. Our greatest weapon is this program. The seed of information that we plant here is what they fear most. It's why they want to do away with us. And we will be planting seeds of freedom every night. That I guarantee you. So over the past couple of days, I got hundreds of emails from all of you asking me nearly the same question. What do we do now? Well, here's my answer. First off, we certainly don't give up. We don't roll over. We get energized by the daunting challenge ahead of us, motivated by the clear fact that following every time of peril, good always emerges stronger and wiser than ever before. So believe me, that is what is on our horizon. So now I call on you to get engaged. Join political organizations aligned with our vision of freedom in a free and prosperous America. Go to every town hall you can. Do not be afraid to tell elected leaders how you feel and what you want from them. I don't care if they're Republicans or Democrats. You remind them we are their bosses. So talk to your friends, your family, your neighbors. Show them why conservatism works better than big government socialism. And you know what else you need to do? Support small business. The mom and pops eat at their restaurants, buy their goods, follow the lead of Barstool Sports. Last I checked, they raised, are you ready for this? $28 million for businesses crushed by the Chinese virus, liberal lunacy. Yesterday, they bailed out another business, Phil's Pizzeria in Syosset, New York. Businesses are getting hurt like so bad, like you have no idea, like bad. Murder. We're standing here watching the inauguration. Oh my God, I can't believe you called me. This is insane. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like the inauguration, which I mean, great. It's like they talk, talk, talk. We're just trying to, <laughs> we're out here like actually doing <laughs> 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 So doing it is an understatement. 160 businesses saved and counting, all from private donations. So I ask you right now, if you are a struggling small business, would you rather get a call from Dave Portnoy at his bar stool fund, or would you rather get a call from Joe Biden and his bloated, inefficient government? Let me help you decide here. The nine most terrifying words in the English language are, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. I know times are tough, but I want you to know that help is on the way. Well, there you have it. We don't want your help, President Joe Biden. We want government out of the way. Lift the lockdowns. Stop with the mandates. Let people live their lives the way they see fit. So to all of you, we are now on a great mission to protect America and the gains made under President Trump. So don't do it in despair. Thrive off the challenge and do it with a smile knowing that ultimately